This trash can isn't very attractive, but today I'm going to show you how to build a cabinet to hide it in plain sight. You really need to have the trash can you'll be using in hand so that you can build your cabinet around it, and I'm building mine specifically for this trash can. Another tip is to make sure you have at least one straight edge so that it'll sit flush against the tilt out that I'm incorporating into the cabinet. Like any other project, it all starts with the measurements. The exact dimensions for this particular cabinet are listed below. All you need is some plywood and 1x4s. I'm starting with the plywood sides on their edges so I can glue and nail the front 1x4 on the face flush with the bottom. I'm starting with the outer cabinet part, and since I'm building it to look a little bit more like furniture than just a wood box, I'm using wood glue at every joint to really tighten it up. Now I can move on to attaching the other 1x4s on the back side at the top and bottom. Slide a piece of plywood between those 1x4s and the plywood sides to create a base. Attach with your nail gun on all four sides from the outside. The last step for this part of the assembly is attaching another piece of plywood as the countertop. My base cabinet is pretty much assembled now, so I'm ready to work on the tilt out for the trash can. You can see this is the front of the cabinet, so this is where the trash can will sit and tilt out. Just need to set this aside and I can get to work. To create the tilt out, I'm attaching the small plywood piece to the tall piece so they are centered and flush on the bottom. Set it upright and use a speed square to make sure it's a 90 degree angle before attaching the 1x4 angled braces on the edge of the tilt out bottom. I designed the tilt out for the face of it to sit flush with the base cabinet. So I'm attaching the hinges to the tilt out first to make sure that they're just right. And you also want to make sure that the hinge pin itself is hanging below the wood. Lay your tilt out on the face so you can attach the hinges to the underside. Then carefully attach the tilt out to the main cabinet box just inside the 1x4 baseboard. Now that everything is assembled together, I'm measuring once again for trim to cover the unfinished edges of the plywood box and it's going to overhang the face of the tilt out itself. I'm just making a simple picture frame with 45 degree angles and attaching with the same nails. I love when I get to the putty stage of a project because that means I'm almost done. And I like to use water putty because it dries really hard and then I'm able to sand it for a really smooth finish. It doesn't take long for it to dry enough for me to sand away. Don't forget to lightly sand over the entire cabinet while you're at it. I'm ready to paint the trash can cabinet, and since it's like a piece of furniture, I'm going to use my paint sprayer just to get a nice, even, smooth finish, instead of having to cut in around all of the trim with a paintbrush. And I think the navy blue I have picked out is going to look really good. After my two coats of paint dry, I move the cabinet into place and attach a short chain to keep the tilt out from opening too far. Ta-da! Trash can seal. Thanks for checking in. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.